Hi, I'm Terry Brock reporting for Business Journals. We know that 3D printing has some awesome power and I found a machine here that's running right behind us right now. It's got some amazing capabilities of producing objects that do not use the traditional goop and the ink that you've seen with other 3D printers. This uses, are you ready for this? Paper, real paper. You get like reams of paper, yeah, that kind of paper you'd buy, and you can do it. And matter of fact, to find out more about it right now, I've got Connor McCormick joining us. He is the president of the company, is that correct? Well, I'm the CEO and co-founder. CEO and co-founder, thank yeah. you very much. Tell us a little bit about what you've got here. Yeah, well, we, we really looked at this industry very differently from everybody else. We invented a technology that we believe is going to revolutionize how people design and innovate in the future. So our machine takes your digital design and prints it out like all the other 3D printers out there, but we do it at extremely low cost, a very high color quality, and a very eco-friendly way. So we looked at this industry very differently. You know, all these companies are making a very big, maybe too big of a revenue on consumables, and we felt that was the real Achilles heel. That's why the technology wasn't selling in hundreds of thousands per year. It was only selling in the three or 4,000 per year. So we said, what's the biggest problem here? We, we felt the running cost was a big issue. So we felt, what's the most readily available material that anybody can grab their hands on? So the paper, everybody can grab their hands on a couple of reams of paper. So and we can recycle it, so it's much easier that way too. It's very, very green, very recyclable. And also the ink, because we use an ink and paper, we get very, very high color quality. So that's a big kind of building blocks of our, of our technology. So the kind of things you're doing are great. That's there, but it's like, okay, in business we're thinking, what can we do with it? And you've got something right here that looks very similar to uh, a guy I'm looking at right now. And I think this could be incredible in business. Those of you that are marketers and salespeople, think about getting something like this, a scan that you can get of your prospect or a really good client or customer and be able to use this. This is nothing but paper, is that right, Connor? Absolutely. Yeah, tell us a little bit about what this is and how we could use that. Yeah, so effectively, so we take the scan. In this example, there's lots of different ways to get the data into the computer. So you can scan it, you can design it if you're a skilled uh, kind of an engineer or an architect. But for people on the street, the easiest way is just to walk in front of a scanner and you get yourself scanned. Which is what you graciously did for me yes. a little while ago. We did it. It took maybe uh, a minute, you know, 30 yes. seconds to a minute or so. Just walked around scanning a 3D scan, and now we can take that and create something like this. So you take, you take the scan data, you export it out of your device, you get it into the computer, and you send it to the 3D printer. It's as simple as that. The object then comes out. In this example, it's solid paper. So you, you know we're feeling the weight of it. You know, this is a very nice quality product and the color is very high. So the examples that people can use this, as you mentioned, there's a lot of different business applications. And every time we come to a show like this, people come up and they say, have you thought about using it for this example? Thought about doing something else? And that is part of the challenge, but really the opportunity. There are so many different opportunities out there. So you wouldn't necessarily have to buy a machine, but you could just have a business idea like this. You want to give it out to your clients. You want to give it to somebody else. You want to start something new. You just need to get the data, and then you send it to a bureau. So somebody that has their technology and has already invested in the machinery, and you upload the file to them, and they will send you out the product then in a couple of days. So it's as simple as that, and then you give it out to your customers. Exactly. What you're talking about is with a machine like this, this machine is really opening up a whole new way of making money. I'm thinking uh, if someone, for instance, worked in a manufacturing facility in the Midwest, they get laid off. That's sad. We're all sad that they got laid off, but that's not the end of the game. Now what they can do is they can get into manufacturing themselves. They either use this or work with others and start coming up with creative ways to provide products. Absolutely. Like the example you see here is very much a consumer-based product, but we also sell very heavily into the industrial side. So architects, engineers, product designers, uh, so say for example you're that person that you mentioned that get laid off and might have a skill doing designing or might have contacts in the engineering or manufacturing world, well they can then open up a business, invest in a machine like this, or maybe not use a bureau to start off, but then eventually it becomes more efficient to have your own machine. But you can tap into areas that you couldn't do before. Because these machines can print overnight, unaided, so you just send your files to the printer, come in in the morning and they're finished, you know, that completely changes the whole manufacturing environment. No more do you have to be standing beside the machine like if you're a CNC machinist or something like that. You could just hit print to get your part out. So there's a lot of lot of real world examples that people are using every day. You're making money every day on these machines. Yeah, Connor, it's, I see it. I'm seeing that this is the beginning of a whole new way of manufacturing, a whole new era in a way. At least I'm seeing it that way. What are your insights? 
Yes, the big thing about this technology is that complexity is free. So no more now you're concerned about how complex is an object that you're going to make. It's all down to the volume of that object. So if you're thinking of a conventional machining method, depending on the complexity of the object, that's going to increase, increase the price of that product to manufacture. 3D printing, it's all about the volume of that object. So if you think about that for a little while, that means the complexity isn't really a factor anymore, it's volume is a factor. But you could think of another environment, say for example you're getting something made in the other part of the world, or you've got a design team in the UK and you're making something in California. Your guys in the UK could be designing something when you're asleep. They send that over via email, you wake up in the morning and it's sent to your printer and you can have it that day. So you're not worried about shipping costs anymore. You know, it's just, there's so many different applications and there's been a lot of hype around 3D printing. And people get very frustrated when they maybe buy a technology and they realize they can't do exactly what the hype says. But the only hype that's there is that maybe where the technologies are right now, but it's still an emerging technology. But people will look back five or ten years and they will say, this was the start of an industrial revolution. Like, we're going through it right now, but we just can't see it. I'm sure other people, when they went through the other industrial revolutions, didn't say we're going through an industrial revolution. It was 20, 30 years, 40 years later that they said that. But I do believe that people will look back at this time and say, wow, this is a very exciting time. And it's the new materials, the new machines. When all this thing happens and machines get faster, materials get better, everybody is going to be exposed to 3D printing. Every kid is going to have one in their school. People are going to have them in their homes. Doctors are going to have them. Dentists are going to have them right beside you. It is going to change everything. We're going to have some aspect of our lives are going to be touched by 3D printing, and it's all happening right now. Absolutely. It's an exciting time to be alive. Well, if someone's watching this and they think, wow, I want to get more information about this. I'm thinking of starting it on my own. We might want to purchase one of these. We want to find out how can they get in touch with you? What's the best way? Yeah, so probably the easiest way is through our website. So our company is called MCOR Technologies. So Please spell that. Yeah, it's M-C-O-R and then technologies.com. And you just go to that website and you'll have all the information there. So we're selling globally. We're an Irish company. You can probably tell from my accent. Yeah. I mean, I'm speaking Chinese. <laughs> Uh, but we we're, we're really are a global company. Uh, we've been on the go over 10 years. There's a 10-year anniversary coming up now in 2015. So we have a lot of presence. We have offices all around the world. So we're very excited to meet new people. We're looking for new dealers. We have very good educational deals. We, we actually can do something on our educational deal that no other company can do. We actually include three years consumables for free. So if an educational establishment buys our machine, we say we will give you all the consumables to run that machine for three years. And that's because the running costs are so low. So we're putting the money where I'm out is. We're saying you buy our machine and we'll provide that for you. So, so if anybody wants to find out, come to our website and you'll see all the information there. Very good. We appreciate that. And those of you watching this, think about this. Among something like this, it looks very simple. We might think at first, oh, that's nothing. Hey, this can create a lot of money for you. Do this done in the right way. Other prototypes that you could use. You put your print, print designation. Thank you for dealing with us. Uh, we love you, Bob, over there at ABC Widget Company. Things like that that you can do and infinitely more are possible today. Connor, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate Pleasure. you being with us. Enjoy talking to you. Reporting for Business Journals, I'm Terry Brock.